In this project, the airflow around a badminton shuttlecock has been investigated. The 3D geometry of this project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler and then meshed in ANSYS Meshing Software. And also, the mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured. And the total number of elements is 1,935,000. Okay, to start with, uh, we need to import a mesh file. So, from file tab, read mesh, and then locate your mesh file and import it. In our first setting tab, I mean general tab, we have considered several assumptions. At first, use pressure based for our solver type because the uh, working fluid is incompressible, and also uh, use a steady simulation. Uh, because our solution is independent of time. And at last, we ignore the gravitational acceleration and effects on our simulation. Then click on Models tab uh, and open Viscose model. So here we need to set our Viscose model. In this simulation, we preferred k epsilon realizable model. Uh, it has developed and differs from different models of k epsilon like standard and also it contains new formulation for turbulent viscosity and also a new transport equation for dissipation and uh, it can accurately predict the behavior of fluid so just apply the settings and close this window we're done in models tab and now we need to define our fluid in this simulation our working fluid is air uh, so in materials tab fluid uh, we need to add air I've done it before so just right click on fluid new in appeared window you can enter the properties of your fluid manually but uh, something uh, like air which is very usable is available in fluent database so I just open fluent database and find air which is here and just copy it in next part we just need to apply the defined uh, material uh, to the domain so from cells and condition uh, I open solid part and just check the material name to be air and apply it uh, so in our last part of our setting part uh, I just need to define boundary conditions so I click on this bottom and uh, from inlet the type is velocity inlet and in setting tab uh, I just need to enter velocity magnitude which is equal to no 94 meter per second at the outlet uh, the type is pressure outlet and just check the gauge pressure to be equal to zero. Our last uh, boundary condition, golf, uh, the type is wall, and uh, it should be a stationary wall with no slip condition. In solution part methods, uh, I need to choose the pressure velocity coupling scheme. The pressure-based solver allows you to solve your flow problem in either a segregated or coupled manner. The pressure-based segregated algorithm solves the momentum equation and pressure correction equations uh, separately, while in coupled scheme, uh, just solve that at the same time together. Using the coupled approach offers some advantages over the non-coupled or segregated approach. The coupled scheme obtains a robust and efficient single phase implementation for a steady state flows.
I choose copper scheme and also for discretization of pressure and momentum I prefer second order uh, for its accuracy. Next uh, we need to define our uh, convergence criteria for this simulation. Uh, there are generally two ways to check the convergence. The first one is the uh, residual errors uh, which appears in monitors residual tab. Uh, you need to define uh, some values for the solver. So the uh, solver check the uh, error in each iteration and compare it with these values. The other way is to uncheck all of these boxes and control the solver uh, solution uh, manually by defining a report in the report definition part and uh, check it by myself. We prefer uh, residual errors in this simulation. At the last step before calculation, uh, just uh, click on initialization button and uh, we use the standard initialization and compute from inlet. So uh, the solver needs uh, an initial guess for starting the calculation and we uh, choose to compute from inlet. Uh, I mean uh, the values from inlet is the initial guess and then go to run calculation and enter the number of iterations. After convergence we need CFD post software for uh, get to higher quality results. So uh, from file tab uh, load results I load the dat file. Now I can have uh, my contours and vectors. So uh, firstly uh, before doing anything I need to define a plane at the middle of our box. Uh, so uh, from location I create a plane uh, named mid plane and uh, it should be in xy direction and the z must be zero to place in the middle of our geometry. So apply it. You can see. So our contours uh, are plotted on this uh, plane. So I normalize on the surface to have a better view. And then uh, create a contour. Uh, for example, name it pressure. And uh, the locations should be on mid plane. Uh, which we have defined and the variable is pressure. You can see the pressure distribution uh, now uh, with increasing the number of contours, for example 50, uh, more details are showing. And also for another uh, contour like velocity, I uh, hide this pressure and uh, create another contour, for example, velocity, and just change the uh, variable. Here is uh, the velocity distribution. I increase the number of contours as well to have uh, more details. And for making a vector, uh, I hide the velocity contour and click on vector, name it vector1 and uh, define the locations on mid plane. If I apply you can see the vector but for better view uh, it would be better to hide the mid plane as well. Uh, you can see the uh, wakes uh, clearly and also you can uh, play with these options to uh, have a better view for post-processing and report it. As the velocity counter shows, the air enters our domain with 94 meters per second and after reaching to the shuttlecock, uh, a decrease in velocity can be seen. Uh, then it separates in two ways and causes a symmetric distribution of flow. Uh, 
Some of the air penetrates through the gaps into inner domain and generates some waves, uh, which you can see clearly in the next picture. Just like the velocity contour, the pressure contour shows a symmetric uh, distribution as well. Uh, higher pressure uh, at the outside of the shallow cock and uh, a lower pressure distribution zone inside the shallow cock. The applied settings are summarized in the following table. We hope that you find this tutorial useful. To benefit from MRCFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at sign mr-cft.com and also www.mr-cft.com.